Shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Gotta do it easy. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, this is the sit down. My name is M Easy. You knew that already. You can pronounce my name. It's very easy. So I'm not gonna even try to um sit and disrespect this beautiful young lady's name. Her name is Sarang Dinesh. She's a beautiful model from Angola. Have you ever been to Wakanda? Uh, no, but I would love to go. <laughs> call me, call me for the next audition. How are you doing, miss? I'm doing very good. Um, what, what brings you to town? Well, I've been here for the past six years now uh, to do modeling full time, and that's what I've been doing. I'm enamored with the voice. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, this is gonna, this, we're going to have to cut this a couple weeks because this is bad. This is bad, bad, bad. Okay, so what, what, what brought you into modeling? Uh, I was scouted back home in Luanda, my hometown. Wakanda, you said? Luanda. Oh, okay. oh, see, I thought she was playing with me, son. It's close. It's <laughs> a ahead. little close. Okay, so they found you in Luanda. Yes. How? What were you doing? Like, was there a model search? Was you were just sitting there and someone's like, oh, you. Uh, actually, Come with me. No, 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 no. So my sister-in-law, she's a makeup artist, a professional makeup artist. And uh, she used to do runway shows, editorials, and one day there was, there was this show that she invited me, invited me to go with her. Mm -hmm. and I said, yeah, sure, why not? So at the after party, the owner of the agency came to me and asked me if I wanted to do modeling. I was like, sis, I would love to, but this subject in my house is a proper taboo. Like what my you mean? parents, my parents wouldn't allow me. Why not? My mom used to be a flight attendant, so I used to travel since I was a little girl. Uh -huh. And every single place that we would go, people would literally stalk us and give us cards of modeling agencies. And I guess she was afraid because the invitation started when I was 14 years old. And she was like, no, you're too young. You won't, you're not going to drop school. You know, just to you're be supposed to be a lawyer or a doctor, right? That's ex that's mm -hmm. what, I mean. I guess that's every single parent's dream: their children to be uh, doctors, See, I'm Haitian. or my engineers. Mom, <laughs> my, I'm Haitian, and my mom was like, "You're not doing anything but being a doctor or a lawyer." I said, "All right, no doubt." And I'm in radio, so thanks, mom. Um, so when did you find? When was your first runway or your first cover? Uh, no. Forget that. <laughs> Where were you when you saw yourself in like a billboard or something? Where oh, were you? Here, <laughs> New York. Okay. Big Apple. Where was the billboard? Go ahead. Uh, Seven from Mankind, which is a jeans brand. Mm -hmm. And it was in Soho, actually, West Broadway. How many pictures of it did you take? Uh, a lot. I wasn't even supposed to be the main girl for the campaign. I was just like an extra, kind of. Mm -hmm. But the photographer fell in love, I guess, and I became. I, I could see <laughs> why, bro. <laughs> And I became the main, one of the main girls for the campaign. Big check? Yes. <laughs> Can't complain. Okay, you okay, know. okay. Um, this is the sit down. She's main man, I'm easy. Um, so give me some, some wrong prede predetermined thoughts of what models are. Wrong ones. Yes, give me some, some things that, oh, all models are dumb. That can't be true. Yes. Give me some other uh, misconceptions of models. They don't eat. Uh, they do you don't themselves. eat. You don't look like you I eat much. <laughs> Come on, don't do that. I'm a food lover. Ask any What's of your my favorite friends. Food? Uh, I love seafood. Anything with shrimp, lobster, or uh, um, I love it. Yeah. Sushi as well. Oh, uh, Dory, I think I'm in love, bro. And our traditional. I like food. this girl already. <laughs> Seafood? Oh, wow. Clams and all that. I, Oysters. I also love, the thing is, I actually prefer the sweetness side of the food. Like every, all the candies, like chocolate cake, ice cream. Don't, come on. So, all right. So how do you, Burgers. so that's how do you keep your figure if, if that's all you're eating? Uh, I work out almost every day. I don't starve myself. Never, ever. Mm. I love eating. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Me too. So we should go out and eat. Don't, 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 don't do me like that! I wasn't ready. <laughs> Anyways, this is the sit up. She made me easy. How many covers have you been on? Uh, a few. I would say f my very first big cover was probably Q in Portugal and then Vogue as well. Because wow. I'm also half Portuguese from Lisbon. And uh, I was actually the very first model 
uh, in Angola to be on the cover of Vogue. So that was like a big accomplishment of mine. Wow. Like you really accomplished for real. <laughs> okay. Like, all right. I've been in L as well um, and a few others. All right. What's, are, what are yeah. some of the differences when you're shooting in, let's say, the UK or Portugal than it is in America? What's some of the differences? Um, well, the, the small difference that it makes it the biggest is probably because America, the market is bigger, so there are more opportunities for girls, skin dark girls, than in Europe, because I've oh, lived on, in the on, UK on, as well. Hold on, hold on, you years. said something right there that was real. So you're saying it's more opportunity in America for dark skinned girls yes. than it is overseas. Why? Uh... Because I guess there's more diversity here. In mm. Europe, the majority of people are white, I guess. Mm. And so Colonizers. that's what it sells, you know, if they see <laughs> some, how can I say that without... Don't without finding. nothing, say <laughs> it. <laughs> say it. Uh, but honestly, this is a tricky question because, for example, the most expensive brands, mo I guess, from my perspective, most of the consumers are usually black people or Asian, you know, yes. the ones that go and buy the, and buy the, the expensive stuff. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you see uh, the white girls on windows shops and, you know, outdoors and covers. But it's changing. Little by little, it's changing. Mm. And U.S. is definitely one of the, uh, I would say, main doors for this to happen because I guess overseas they just follow what happens here you know Got for you. example a girl that becomes a supermodel why because she made it in New York she made it in America so most of the other brands in Europe will hire her because she's she popping here gotcha you. You know gotcha you. Gotcha. all right so sit down she made my Emmys you say your name for me one more time Saram oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes um Tara or, or Naomi? Oh, why are you doing me like that? Well, what you <laughs> I'm <mean>? live on <laughs> IG. I want to oh know if you God. had to choose, who would it okay, be? Um, who do you admire more? Who inspires you more? I'm going to be very objective and make my points very straight. You've done a lot of media training. You She's are good. my witnesses yeah, yeah. Yeah. on my IG. Um, Modeling-wise, Naomi. And it's obvious because she has been in the modeling game so for a, you, decades now. Do you have now. a heavy hand? What do you mean by that? Because Naomi likes to smack girls, right? Oh, uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm actually, I love my inner peace situation. <laughs> I, I avoid fights. Okay. Uh, but I would say entrepreneurship stuff is definitely Tyra Banks. Like, she did the modeling when... I mean, when she could, at the age that she was, younger, probably, she wasn't a high fashion model. She was more a commercial or curvy model, because mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. know that she was one of, one of her biggest uh, accomplishments was to be on the cover of SI, Sports Illustrated. Yes, I remember and that And that is huge here yeah, in the U.S., yeah, yeah. but yeah. she's very intelligent, because she, she was like, okay, like, modern, it won't last me for too long. So let me improve or show these people my skills, like TV skills. She has her own TV show. She has her own line of cosmetics. Like, she's just like, bam! Okay, you guys motherfuckers don't want to hire me, so I'm going to show you who is the bad in this game. Yeah, okay, so okay. Now, I like both, honestly, but for different reasons. Gotcha. Th that was a very thorough answer. I appreciate <laughs> it. Now, um, how do you feel about Instagram models? Uh, have they dumbed down your, your field at all? Have they made it harder for, for real models to get work? Or are they not even scratching the surface? I don't think they made it harder for us. Because uh, I consider myself a real model. What? Uh, talk it, talk it! But at the same time, I will always uh, live it up to the people with power of decision. Because they are the bosses. They are the people, you know, who as the final word mm -hmm. so if today social media is all about the big following how popular you are it's because someone or a team in the fashion industry uh believe that that's the way to go which 
it's not an advantage for people who has who doesn't have too many followers mm -hmm. but at the same time it is what it is and we have to adapt I mean we can't be just home complaining crying oh my god why am I not being hired because I don't have 1 million followers but at the end of the day if you check pages with 1 million or more it's basically showing skin so I guess Instagram in order for you like to I don't know to become huge even, show that though, ass. even though you have your talent, <laughs> but until these people see how that talented ass. you are, uh -huh. you gotta show you that know. ass. Yes, that's what this is. Just keep it real. Unfortunately, that's the truth. That's the ugly truth. And I mean, we we gotta do what we gotta do. Hmm. You know. So what's the end point for you? Like, will there be acting? Is yes, like what's what's next for you? Definitely, definitely uh, acting. And I also have my own uh, hair extensions line. Uh, Saram hair. Hold on, time up. <laughs> this, this, I like. I gotta ask a question. It's gonna make me feel like an asshole. You got no hair. What hair line <laughs> are we talking about? So, uh, literally, I just shaved my head three weeks ago. Oh, it's beautiful, by the way. Guys. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. That takes a confident uh, woman to be have a, a number does. one like me. Guys. You know, the, I was so scared because in my mind I was like, oh my god, if I have a really bad head shape. Um, <laughs> done. But at at the same time, I was like, uh, wait a second. You have your own hairline, so you might just throw a wig on and everything is cool. There you go. But um, hair, so being a black girl, growing up in Africa, not having the, I would say, access to the best hair products. The bundles. Is an issue. Trust me. Okay, it all right, see now, uh, again, show. again, I'm, I, 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 this may be one of the most ignorant comments I've ever said in my life. God, please forgive me. Um, again, I'm only going off what I see on TV, so this could be absolutely positively wrong. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. What, how, why are we worried about hair in Africa? They need, they need water, they need electricity, but you guys worried about bundles? Yes. Uh, How's that yes? Well, because we were, so, uh, that was society foul? in general made us think that the straight long hair it means or it was the definition of beauty so okay. me as a black girl and with not so fine hair i found myself in a complicated situation because you would turn on the TV, music videos, Beyonce, Ciara, like long, massive hair, and you'll be like, oh my God, how come? If we have the same skin tone, like, what, what is wrong? What's going on? God, like, talk to me. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, it w I started wearing extensions, actually, like, braiding my hair since I was five years old, or mm. less, actually. But first time I relaxed my hair, I was five, because it was really painful. I would go to the beach... Uh, I did that to my Angola is a very tropical country. So going to the beach, it should be something that it would make me feel uh, awesome, you know, being there, tanning and stuff. But it was a nightmare. Because Why? Whenever I would go into the water, I would have sand all over in my scalp. Then coming back home, washing, straightening, like all that process was really, really painful. So I started wearing extensions first time when I was 15 until probably three weeks ago. So it's been almost 12, 13 years. And uh, I had a really uh, bad moment during my modeling career Go ahead, with let, hair. Let's, let's hear it. Let's <laughs> hear it. Don't do that. I want to hear it. Uh, you know, sometimes hairdressers in general, when they are not comfortable with a girl's hair, they will always blame on the model. Oh, her hair is too difficult. What do you mean her hair is difficult? You're a hairdresser. You suppose exactly. <laughs> you're supposed to get your job done mm -hmm. no matter what. Mm -hmm. So don't blame on me or oh the hair is not too good. No. You gotta make magic. Okay? <laughs> because if I have to look good to be on the cover of a magazine, I have to do magic too. So everyone needs to be or do their, their own work. Uh but creating the brand was um I find hair as an accessory. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly why I shaved my head. Because the beauty is not in the hair. People people associate, oh, she's beautiful because she has nice hair. No, 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 no. no. That's totally mm -hmm. wrong, my friend. I agree. The beauty is with us. It's the way we look at ourselves. The, and if we feel confident, we can show that with or without hair. 
So I'm going to continue to promote the hairline. <laughs> As you because should. Because I will wear my wigs no matter what. <laughs> I love them. Um, and yeah. And if I feel like rocking my pink head, I will do it too. It's your world, mama. Listen, I ain't going <laughs> to tell you nothing. I can't, I can't. Stop a black girl who? Me? Never. Wakanda no. forever. Never. Wakanda! <laughs> there we go. Um, any last words you want to tell the audience before we go? Um, oh, no. How do you know in the canon? Oh, yeah. We worked together on a project. Um, we had the same trainer for a while at Aerospace. I used to do boxing there. And uh, one of those days we met. Uh, and that's how we connect. There's actually a, a recent video on his page uh, of me training with Teddy. Mr. Teddy, how are you? Hey. <laughs> and uh, that's actually how we how we met, mm. through him. Okay. Any last words before we go? Uh, well, I heard you host Angels Night, so I definitely want to go there tonight. Oh, we're bringing models <laughs> to the strip club tonight! Yes! <laughs> yes! Let's make it rain. Okay. Up, All right. We're going, to make it rain. <laughs> We're going. Come. Wakanda forever, Nick. We're going to Angels tonight. Absolutely. Um, will you meet me there? Do you need a, a car? Like how? We'll talk about that on here. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Um, if they want to work with you, get them. Get on the IG, the emails, and all that stuff. Yes. So my IG. So my name is Saram, but it's S H A R A M. People that's, here call me Sharam. See, that's why that's she corrected wrong, me. I'm sorry. That's the wrong uh, way to say it because the H is silent. Ah. So it's Saram instead of Sharam. Dinish. D I N I Z. I got you. Gotcha. And follow Sharam <laughs> hair as well. No, I got I gotta say it the way American people say it. So you know, gotcha. I, go, I, go, I I need those followers. So, yeah. Well, it was a pleasure. Pleasure was mine. I learned I learned some things today, and um, I appreciate you coming by. Um, whenever you feel free and want to swing by, let's go, and Thank I will you see you at Angels me. tonight. Yes. Woo! Turn up. <laughs> to sit down and easy and sit up. Oh. Shout out M Easy and tune in to the sit down. Guys, I do it easy. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing.